Hello nerd fans, I'm Tully and tonight I will be playing some Crawl. Uh, if you follow my Twitter feed, at Tully Gaming, you'll notice I've uh, been talking to the developers of Crawl, uh, Powerhoof, which is uh, basically a two-man team. Um, Barney and Dave, uh, the developers and artists, respectively. A um, couple of Melbourne blokes, legends, absolute top blokes. We uh, interviewed them on the show not long ago. And um, basically just going to give their game a play. When we uh, interviewed them on the Nerds at Night podcast, uh, I'd only play the game for roughly 21 minutes. So I'm now going to try and get back into it since uh, a lot of the updates they've done lately. Uh, I've already got an account here, Tol. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't know how to change bots. Oh, oh here we go. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it with one bot. I, okay can't fully remember this. I'm playing with an Xbox controller, so this uh, could be interesting. But 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 we'll we'll try. We'll see how we go. I, I don't want to play the key. Ah, look at that. There's only two buttons, and it's it's figured out that I'm on a control. All right, okay. W worships. All right, I'm not 100 percent sure what this means. Um, oh, I can pick the kind of monster I want to be. Um, what what do we say? Uh, <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah. No, nah, that guy's a go. Uh, looks like what I'll be like in 20 years. Um, and this bot, I'll just um, I'll let him be whatever. Flee your dead companions lest they steal your life. Seems like perfectly reasonable advice, something I can stick to, I think. Um, pretty sure I can only use the D-pad. Oh, here we go. Kill beasts and collect their life. For okay, yeah, cool. I can do that. Yep. Reach level 10 to activate the portal, presumably to hell, because where else do portals go these days, let's be honest. Defeat the boss and escape the pit. I think we can do that. Why not? Come on, let's do this. Hold the key, chapter one. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, A's attack. Alright, so I'm, I, at this point, I figure I'm basically Gordon Freeman. I, um, I, I essentially just have a crowbar. It's actually a sword, but anyway. Alright, so I go into this room. Okay, and, okay, and this dude can become an enemy. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I, oh, okay, I can dodge roll. That's a thing. Jesus, a crafty little bastard. Die, you son of a git. This, um, this actually requires some tactical skill. I remember when speaking to the guys, one of the things they mentioned is they really wanted... Um, you can play this co-op. And they didn't really want to do online co-op because they felt that the old couch play was um, something missing in gaming these days. And I tend to agree. Like, playing this on couch with... Ah, uh, oh, come on! With some friends... Oh, Jesus, I died. Oh, God. Um, with some friends would... Um, basically... I mean, it's better than online. Online, you can still have some fun with this, right? But just just playing on the couch with some friends, you can get some pretty heated stuff because this will support up to four players at once. So you know, you, you imagine that can get pretty intense. All right, I can. Ah, oh, look at that! Die, Ben. Oh Jesus! Oh, here we go. Okay. All oh, right. So, yeah, that's right. You have to get to level ten to beat the portal. Okay, man, that guy managed to kick my ass so bad. Oh, oh, Jesus, he's really destroying me. Oh, God almighty. I'm in big trouble here. Oh, here we go, I can set out traps, that'll fuck him. <laughs> Take that, you bastard. Don't caught mine trap? No, I can't. <laughs> I've got you now, you bastard. Here you go, Let's see if we can get him. Come on. Ah, oh, beautiful. You'll have um, seen on Twitter lately that um, one of the artists, top lake that he is, Hat Thief too. You'll uh, know that story if you listen to the podcast. Uh, recently created one of the new bosses, which will essentially be Gabe Newell, and we can understand that because if ever there was a terrifying monster, it's Gabe Newell. I mean, what sort of person can not have released Half Life Three in that long and still claim to have a human soul? I think we all know the answer to that. It's just monstrous. So, ah, uh, yes, yes, he's dead. Take that, you thought of a bitch. All right, so now I'm human. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, make offering. Okay, what does that do? Oh, I just wasted my blood to come to the store. Okay, all right, so that's the currency. So, uh, oh, okay, that turns all my blood into money. Oh, cool, 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 cool. So what can I buy? Orbeth's Cutthroat. The weapon of choice for the quick-fingered thief has abnormally high damage for a cutthroat. Replaces crude knife. Ah, uh, that's not unreasonable for 19 gold. What do we got here? Dagger. For those who favor speed and accuracy over range and power. Yeah, no, that's not really me, to be honest. Um, advanced dodge roll. No, I don't really need that. Trouble shield. Summon a shield in front of you. Nah, hyper dash. Dashes forward at super speed. Ooh, but I can't afford it, unfortunately. 
Uh, can I afford anything here? No, uh, apparently not. All right, we'll get we'll get this sword. That'll help me wreck some shit up. Okay, let's um. That guy's obviously not going to try and possess me. Oh yes, he is. Oh, cheese it. Blimey. All right, we'll um. Okay, the portal. So I'm basically going to head in the same direction that he did. I've got no re re reason for that. Oh Jesus. I'm not sure how I um. Oh, okay. Oh god. Oh god. The hell are those things? I'm not sure what I have to destroy in this room in order to um. Health up. That's health up's a good thing. Do I pretty much just. Oh, I'm gonna have to destroy that thing, am I? No, I can't. God, what am I not doing? Oh, I can actually just walk out of the room. That's embarrassing. Why am I wasting my time in here? God damn it. Um. Jeez, I wish I had more health all of a sudden. Okay, I um. There, there is a way out of these levels. I remember. Oh, this is where I started. How embarrassing. Um. Yeah, there's there's always there's a way out, and you get up to the next level. Uh, is what I vaguely remember. Ah, ah, through here. Look at that. Perfect. Floor results. Who did better? I got up to level 3. Come on. Ah, oh, you got up to level 3 as well. So what's his Vitae? Oh, you can upgrade your monsters. Okay, what do I want to upgrade? Um, okay, so he's gone from the spider thing to the demon. Uh, make this go. Oh, your Pokemon is evolving. Dun, 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 dun. Do I want to be Death or the Hulk? I'll be the Hulk. Come on. Why, why would you not want to essentially be the Hulk? Come on. I've, I've wasted all my stuff on that one monster. That's um, uh, possibly a bit foolish, but anyway, we can do this. Blood Total Air, Chapter 2. Alright. Let's, um... Oh, cool. So you can actually destroy a bit of the environment. Oh, it gives you blood! Oh, how am I only learning about this now? I'm not sure what that stuff is. I think it's for the ghost. Oh, game tips. Oh, tra traps and things. Alright, I don't really need that, to be honest. Alright, uh, let's see what we can do. There's not really... Oh, Jesus! Okay, so you actually got to be really fairly skillful in this. No one, I'm terrible at this game. If, it was, uh, if I'd have known it was going to require skill, I probably would have picked an easy game. I've already got it on easy mode. How are people playing this on hard? It's just insane. I need more health. God, how do I get to the... um? Oh, it's... oh shit. Oh, these things give me health. This, this is good. This is good. Blood pockets. Health. Always a good sign. Okay, so this dude's a gnome. Should be able to wreck him up. Come on, come on, die, die, you little leprechaun -y bastard. Ah, fiddly deep, dead horse. Die, you bastard. Got him. Okay. Level 5, I'm doing okay. What the f. Okay, so there's like these room traps that the dude can possess. So he's gonna keep doing that until basically I can just leg it out. Okay. Still not level 10, level 5. That's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I, um... Okay, I could be leaving, but he has to do that thing first. Oh, God, he's, the, he's his upgraded demon. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I, I need, like, healing. Oh, Jesus. What was that? Some sort of, like, fart beam or something. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Oh, God. Oh, I should stop jumping into that stuff. Oh, is there a way that I can heal myself? Does it heal over time? I'm actually bleeding to death. Oh, Jesus. Alright, nah, come on, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, I can, I can, I can, oh god, he keeps doing that, just freaking stop it, man. I wish I had a ranged attack right now, i only got the two buttons, I can pretty much just attack and dodge. As long as he hides over there, there's pretty much sod all I can do. Ah, I got him! Okay, so I can now leave this level or I can explore a little more. Um, I'll probably just, oh, I don't know, I've got that 40 gold, how much blood do I have? I don't know, perhaps I should just explore. Oh, my health might recover if I, um go somewhere else. Uh, I'm not sure how this works. Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll just risk it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got this. Oh, je ooh, Jesus. I might regret this a little. Because he can, yeah, he can now do that and I've got bugger all hell. Oh, I've made a mistake. Oh, fiddly dees, leprechaun! Ah, it's health. Ah, oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. i got to remember those traps bloody hurt. But he, I don't think he's really got much attack besides it. Ah, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. For anyone wondering what that noise was, it's my damn phone going off the text message, so, you know, there's that. Right. We're doing okay. Doing okay. I can get through this. Guys have done really well developing this. It came out around, I think, August last year. It came out for early access, and um, it's pretty impressive when it came out at the time. I mean, like, the guys have been working on this for some time. They come from uh, some 
other game companies. Uh, well, that was their history working for other game companies, and they've come out with this, and it's an absolutely brilliant piece of software. They've been taking heaps of feedback from the community, and just trying to generally develop ah a game that you know people people want to play on the couch with their friends. And they've they've done a really fantastic job, to be honest. This uh, this has come a long way since the last time I played it. I I live with a housemate, and he played the absolute life out of this. But it it, it gets you to come back because you you want to evolve your monsters, you want to unlock more deities and stuff like that. And it just it really kind of sucks you in like a son of a bitch, to be honest. I got no Vita because I got I had no oh, okay because I wasn't a ghost at all. So yeah, the problem with that is you can't evolve your monsters very much if you've um been playing as the hero most of the time. So that's a bit. Problematic. I mean, I'm playing against an easy, and I'm still getting my ass handed to me. We can do this! Gold. Gold is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. This is new. What's this? Oh, he's gonna turn... Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! He's a squid! Oh, God. Oh, God. Mighty. This is... Is it... Ah... Uh, Oh god, he's got all that blood too. Ah, oh, don't convert it to money! Ah, god, I wish the AI was stupider than it is, but it's really not. Oh, this is problematic. So he's... Oh god, he's got a great sword. Oh, Jesus. It's alright, we got this. We can take this sucker out. Look at him. He's only on level 4. Whatever. Take this guard. Look at this. Spider. Ah, I can do the web stuff. Take this, you bastard. Now. Once he's in the web, he's mined. Get in the web. Get in the web, you bastard. Get in the internet. This is how people get stuck on the web, right? Because it's, it's it's called the web. Get it? No? Yes? No, terrible joke. All right, fine. So, I'm now... Uh, I'm getting blood. This is a good thing. Okay. So, what I need to do... All right, I, can, I turned in monster. Oh, God. How did I get to be the goblin? Oh, mind you, I managed to kill him with this last time. Except he's a lot quicker and cleverer this time. This could be problematic. Come on, walk through the trap. That's it, you mongrel. So there's a lot of tactic in this. Like, it's a really fast-paced game, but it actually requires a fair bit of tactics to, um... to sort of outthink him when... especially when they're more powerful than you, especially right now. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, I should be able to slog him now. He's a lot more powerful than me, but... Got him! He's dead, son! And now I have some blood to actually trade in to upgrade my guy. Okay, so this is good. So he's actually already found the exit. So that's that um, is indicating me where the exit is and where the um, the upgrade thing is. So I can go and upgrade my stuff, which would be nice. Convert all that delicious blood into gold. Oh yes, a bow to reduces speed and increases rate. So I kind of want a ranged weapon, but I don't know. Eat this, and your monsters will all get one extra health. Ooh, mystical item grants you. Oh, sorry. Grants you double XP and a significant store discount, but only while you are bleeding. God. Yeah, it sounds like Murphy's Law, except it's Murphy's Belt. God. Not sure what to buy with 108 gold. I just... Uh, Cyclones. Faces dodge roll for a dash. Uh, I really don't know. What's this going to do? Damage and range. 6% chance of... Po yeah. You know, what the hell? Alright, we'll, we'll do this. And then I need to go to the next level anyyway. And I'll get, I'll get um, Vitae this time. Or Vitae, or whatever you want to call it, and that'll allow me to upgrade my ghosts! Oh god, I'm nearly level 10, and he's only halfway there. Take that, you bastard. Alright, so I'm gonna upgrade my monster. Super Spider! Uh, I think I'm gonna be a Scorpion, because it's not what I said, he doesn't want to be a Scorpion. Okay, I can, I can take this guy, and we got this. We have this. Come on. Fitted Chasm, level 4! Alright. Oh yeah, spit of range, love it. Oh god. These things unfortunately have more range than I do. The uh reload or whatever you want to call it on this is really slow, so I'm gonna have to be um a fair bit more careful with my attacks, I think. I um there's only very rarely something in there that's of any use. I think you can actually level up beyond level ten. Uh, if you want to take on the end boss monster with uh, a bit more, um, a bit more, basically if you want to grind and overlevel your guy, really. Look at this thing, he looks like, um, Ursula from Little Mermaid. 
I will be queen of the seas! Alternatively, I've seen enough Huntai to know where this is going. <laughs> Alright. Level 9. I'm almost going to be able to take on the boss. I'm not sure if they're... I know the, uh... The Gaben update isn't out yet, but... He's potentially one of the bosses that could spawn. Because, I mean, all of this is randomly generated. Um, which most people would already know. I don't know what that attack is. I think he can blow me onto these, like... Um... I don't even know what that is. Jizz, essentially. But, um... All the levels are randomly generated, and you can get, um, randomly generated bosses. So, up until recently, I believe there was only one boss, and now they've got more than that. More! So there's a chance of something else. So, this will be a good thing. Oh, I can leave. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. I oh, Jesus Christ, he's a demon! Oh, God, I didn't know he could do that. Anyone who uh, wants to see these guys doing something a bit more interesting, um, the artist constantly tweets and puts up on their blog um, various little skits with these guys. He uh, enjoys his animating, I think. So he, he puts up a few hilarious skits, and there's one up there for the, the Gabe update. Um, so you should check it out on their, tweet, their Twitter, I should say, and definitely on the blog for the website. I'll have some links in the description, so be sure to check it out, because it, it's pretty entertaining. Alright, what am I going to upgrade here? Not much. I can't do anything. Unfortunate. Okay, we've got this. The Crooked Descent! Descending to where? I suppose I'm going downstairs, aren't I? It's essentially going to descend to something. So, this time around I might be able to go for the boss. I could take the risk, um, and try and overlevel, but I'm a little bit worried that, um, if this guy kills me and manages to get to level 10, he'll be able to take on the boss first, and I'm going to have to try and kill him with just me. Um, it's a little less than ideal, uh, but at the, you know, at the same time. Jesus Christ, he's a dragon! How the sodding feck did that happen? God almighty. You really gotta dodge in this, I usually just go sort of gung-ho, but, ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, here we go, I'm level 11, so maybe I just need to go and upgrade my jump. Here we go. It's almost... Oh god, he's the demon again. God, I hate that guy, especially in a small room. It's gonna make life hell. I do really need to, uh, heal up. Which could be a problem. Oh god almighty. Ah, that's done it. That'll heal me up. Actually, I'm pretty sure when you go to face the boss, you get a whole heap of, uh, healing stuff just near the start. I might keep this weapon just because it seems helpful. Ha haunted axe? Not enough gold. Uh, okay. Whenever you're bleeding, you run like the wind. That could be a thing. Um, the luck of the damned grants you an extra 10% store discount. That's not really good for me now. Spongy flesh may tear away, but it's your bones that keep you standing. That's a fair call. Minus one strength. Uh, but more vitality. Uh, I don't know. Don't want a cyclone? Hyper dash? I don't know. It's really hard to sort of decide. Everything sort of helps but doesn't. I think those cyclones are really hard to control, so I might not risk that. I might take this potion, though. We'll, um... I think we'll go to the portal. We'll try and take on the boss. We got this. I've, um... stuffed around for long enough. Oh, God, I may not get the chance. Oh, Jesus. Fucking dragon! Look at him! Runs around! Is this a dragon or a worm? The, uh... Pretty sure the difference is whether they have four legs. It damn well breathes fire, so it's at the very least like a Komodo dragon or something. Ah, oh, God, and we're back to the hunt eye squid thing. God. Pretty sure all these guys have names, and I'm probably butchering them by calling it a hunt eye squid, but, um, you know. Them's the, uh. Essentially, I didn't do my research. We'll, uh, we'll be honest about that. But, but, here we are at the portal! Activate! Do the thing! Alright. Korok, this is the, the typical boss. Um, the one that I've seen a fair bit before. Not sure what's up with those things. Ah, uh, oh, that's right, you're knocking into the door to open the door up. Yeah! Now that's interesting, because what I didn't realise the first time I played that is that's a little bit of a tutorial of what you need to do. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at its brain. Oh, mercy. Okay. Uh, I need to hurt this guy. Oh god, ah, oh, bubbles. Ah, I need to flick that thing into him. That's why they sort of give you that tutorial at the start. I never realised that to begin with, which is really embarrassing. Because it's pretty much the only way to really hurt him. Oh god, and I 
keep missing it. Ah, oh, it's because I'm rushing. Ah, oh, because I'm panicking. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, that's done it. Right in the face. Ah, oh, now I'm in the bubble. How do I get out? How do I get out? How do I... Oh, Jesus Christ. I needed to get him while his mouth was open. Um, as gross as that might sound. Ah, oh, that's it. He's eating it. This is your chance to really sort of hit him. This is your critical strike phase here. But, um... Pretty limited window of opportunity, especially when he's throwing his goddamn bubbles. Gee oh god, the beam, the beam, the beam! Oh god. Oh, and those things explode if you don't use them. Oh, that's done it. If you don't get him in the mouth, it only does a small amount of damage. Oh, if you get him in the arm, it doesn't do jack. Woo, and I'm in the bubble. I'm in the bubble. This is bad. Oh, 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 Jesus. oh, Jesus. Oh, god. Oh, god almighty. I'm pretty sure if I die, this is going to be game over. I get to try again. I'm not 100% sure how it works. But I need to get him in the bloody mouth and he needs to stop doing that. There we go. Oh, God. This is tense. Oh, Jesus. Oh, stop throwing your jizz everywhere. God, it's unsanitary. God damn you. I think he's figured out this is my weak spot. I really don't know what to do about this. Oh, that's it in the face. Oh, that's it. Eat up. Again. Problem with this, I need to get him down to a lot lower health than what I'm at. Hopefully this thing will heal me up. No, it it really, really didn't. Oh god. Oh, I'm losing health at a faster rate than he is. Oh beam of doom! Use your your solar beam, Bulbasaur! Which I'm pretty sure it was like Bulbasaur's only useful ability, other than maybe Vine Whip. We all know what that was really used for though. Oh, I need to get in with my own mouth. Ah, oh, in the bubble. I do actually get to control that to a small extent, but it's really not enough to be helpful. Oh god, he's going to do the beam again. But that'll make him open his mouth. Gob. Ah, oh, god. I really took the reduced damage for range, and at this point I'm regretting it. I possibly should have changed weapons when I was at the store. Um, regretting that more than a little just now. Especially when that thing does not hurt him, when it does not go in the right spot. Ah, oh, God, you really need to not waste your opportunities here. Ah, that's it. Eat up. Alright, we got this now. Oh, it's not going to be enough. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I think I've got this. Uh, oh, God. Oh, yeah, take it in the mouth. Yeah, that's how you like it. Come on. Oh, God, 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 God. Ah, uh, in the face. Ah, uh, this shit eat. It's done. Boom. Headshot. That's taking him out. Salvation. Fantastic. What happens now? I escaped alive. Boss killer. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I've unlocked some stuff. Immortal Shrim. Nice. What else? Elemental Podiums unlocked. Good lord. Living Tome Artifacts unlocked. Oh, so this is even stuff that I can buy at the store. Wishing Well unlocked. Oh, and this is the addiction because now I need to go and unlock more. Good god. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that video. Please subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to be playing a little more Crawl, trying to unlock as much as I can. I want to say thanks to uh, Barney and Dave, the Power Hoof guys who uh, basically gave me a little bit of encouragement to keep going with this and uh, start up this crawl stream. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter. Follow the Power Hoof guys over on Twitter as well. Check out their game, buy it on Steam. There'll be links in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I've been Tolly. Bye-bye!